You join me seated at a table positioned in the middle of the 16th Street Mall in downtown Denver, Colorado. The sun's shining, the heat's dry, and I'm glad of the rest as over the past few days I've walked 45 miles as I wandered around. It's something of an annoyance to me that when at home I can barely walk the length of myself, but put me somewhere different and I become a veritable forest gump and just keep on going. Now before you think I've taken leave of my senses, the malls have pedestrianised my long shopping street in the middle of the Mile High City. The only vehicles are the free buses which transport shoppers around the area. At one end, 16th Street are topped by the incredible Union Station, often the first and last building that travellers see as they journey to or from the city. The station is truly stunning and is reminiscent of the great days of rail travel. It's like walking into the 1920s when you go through the door. If you're a fan of American sports, you'll not be disappointed when you come to Denver. Near to Union Station, you'll find Coors Field, the home of baseball. And not too far away, on the opposite side of the city, you'll find the Mile High Stadium, the home of the Denver Broncos, American football team. I particularly enjoyed taking a walk around the state capitol building. On the day I visited, the area was full of food trucks, which are big business in the USA, and I quite happily meandered around, trying samples of the wide variety of dishes available. When you're in the general area of the state capital, make sure you go to see the History Colorado Center. It gives a good grounding in the history of the city, as well as the state. And again, close by, you'll find the Colorado Convention Center. It's huge, but it's also the famous place where you can see the Big Blue Bear, which is the icon of Denver City. Away from the conventions and away from the tourist side, why not check out the Buckhorn Exchange if you want something to eat? It's the oldest restaurant in Colorado, dates back to 1893, and was frequented by Buffalo Bill Cody and Chief Sitting Bull back in the day. For something a little more up to date, why not go to Duffy's Cherry Cricket? It's an institution in Denver and the queues are always out the door. If you want to go outside Denver, Boulder's only 30 minutes away. I went to dinner at West Flanders Brewing Company and got some great shots of the Rockies just at dusk. And of course, Boulder's the home of Morgan Mindy, so you can stop by that actual house and get a photograph. Music's a big part of Denver life. I went to Five Points Jazz Festival. Five Points is an historic district just to the east of the city centre. And from the street party in the historic Five Points district of Denver to the Denver Performing Arts Complex. Out of Sunday school and listened to the songs that they were singing. And from the city centre, we go out to the Red Rocks Amphitheatre. Just half an hour outside the city, this beautiful natural rock formation creates fantastic acoustics for all sorts of concerts. I have to say, I was really impressed with Denver. The people are so friendly, the city is so walkable, and there's so many things to see and do, not just in the city centre, but not too far outside it either. The Rockies are literally minutes away. Now, unfortunately, my time in Denver is done because, well, I've got a plane to catch. If you want to find out more information, check out www.travelbikesradio.co.uk.